The ability to view our world from above has been one of the most transformative technology breakthroughs of the modern age. Drones, helicopters, planes, and satellites that carry sensors have ushered in a new era of digitalization of our world surface. Worldview captures critical sensor data from the stratosphere for our commercial and government customers via our online portal to interpret, gain deeper strategic insights, and make informed decisions. Top use cases include asset monitoring and inspection for commercial companies in sectors like energy, agriculture, transportation, and ISR for government entities. Any government, enterprise, or even media data requirement that demands persistence, high resolution, and on-demand tasking is perfect for Worldview. Additionally, Worldview is capable of taking a customer's customized payload, a communications relay, for example, into the stratosphere. We deploy state-of-the-art, lighter-than-air stratolites, vehicles with sensors and navigation hardware attached to giant balloons, into the stratosphere and have years of launch, operation, and recovery experience, which will be useful in growing our fleet of deployed stratolites with launch pads around the world. Stratolites operate in the stratosphere at lower altitudes than satellites, navigating using winds at different elevations, and offer persistent observation of areas of interest for months at a time, which breaks all previous barriers associated with satellites and other aerial vehicles. In addition, our sensor packages can capture data that is higher resolution, offering accurate, affordable, and timely information products as precise as 5 centimeters GSD for electro-optical imagery and other capabilities such as infrared, radar, and RF signal processing. We are regularly launching stratolites around the globe to capture valuable strategic intelligence for government entities and enterprise companies of all types engaging in asset monitoring, inspection, progress tracking, and real-time, event-driven ISR. With Worldview's online platform, our data capture capability is available for on-demand tasking with an intuitive scheduling interface based on craft availability. Once data is captured, it is rapidly processed and available directly in the online portal for review. From there, data can be viewed, downloaded, and compared to historicals, and customers can also leverage our growing, extensive selection of market-specific tools and analytics. Customers can work with the data, notate it, save snapshots, and easily save selections into a report that can be downloaded or sent to key stakeholders. Manage your team and permission in our admin interface and integrate into our growing suite of partners globally. In addition, a library of archived captured data from times and locations around the globe is available for instant license. Users can also work directly with our team to discuss custom payload, sensors, and software integrations. The transformation enabled by sensors deployed into the sky is just beginning, and Worldview is dedicated to exploring, creating, and inspiring new perspectives to provide a radically improved future for our clients and the world. If you're looking for the highest quality, persistent data available from above, your journey with Worldview can start today. Worldview is a stratospheric exploration company, and we are taking advantage of this completely underutilized area of the stratosphere to do incredibly new things with weather forecasting, communications, remote sensing, things that you might think of are the territory of low Earth orbit. We can now do down in the stratosphere and in some ways do it very differently and for certain things completely new and better. Myself and our chief pilot, Ron, Garen will be you know, flying the first test flights, and we're not quite there yet, but we're flying a lot of payloads. You know, it's a process, and a, a research and development process that leads to a test program. You have to go from developmental tests to operational. It's really hard to operate in the stratosphere. So the air is that perfect situation where it's incredibly difficult to fly with a wing, but you're not really out of the atmosphere enough to be able to fly like 
a satellite that goes whizzing around because you just get dragged down by all that atmosphere. At this point, we've got to you know, build a pressurized vehicle that can land on the runway underneath a parafoil. We also have to be able to come up with the capability to, to lift that thing. So you need a really big balloon to displace enough air to get neutrally buoyant. NASA taught us how to stay at one altitude in what they call the super pressure balloon. And so we derived from that technology to figure out how to use solar power to change the density of that balloon, essentially by using air as ballast. So we can pump air in and go down, let air out and go up. And that allows us to then choose the winds we want to be in. And so we can sort of steer around. What's so different about what we're doing though, is that we can pin the stratolite over an area of interest. So we can have this thing just, in a sense, hover over an area where you're trying to get your data from, whether it's weather or communications or anything like that. And you can just hover there 20 miles above the Earth. Our vehicle really is you know, a joining of different technologies. And then what's really cool is that we use the existing infrastructure around the Earth. So we use GPS satellites to know how high we are and which way we're going and we use communication satellites to send commands and receive commands and get that data back and forth. And so without all of that other tech infrastructure around us, we couldn't do what we do. So it's really enabled by a whole host of different technologies. We're figuring out you know, how to land well under a parafoil, uh, how to navigate you know, with this kind of system, how to build a fly-by-wire system for a, a parafoil, to, to land at a specific target on the ground. And you know, we're gonna give people the opportunity to see the planet like I got to see it as an astronaut. I remember the first time I launched in the space shuttle, you know, Mach 15 going uphill, looking over my shoulder and seeing the Earth as a big round blue ball. It's just fascinating. You know, it kind of changes your opinion of the planet and your perspective of uh, living on this round planet in the, in the blackness of space.